the path forward tonight, Alabama nursing homes are recovering after being ravaged by the coronavirus. Some much needed monetary help is on the way from Montgomery. NBC 15's Laura Barczewski joins us now live. Laura, this will really ease the financial burden on these facilities, won't it? That's great. That's right, Greg. Long term care patients and employees account for around 10% of all of the state's cases, and this money will help with testing to keep track of any future outbreaks. Governor Kay Ivey awarded more than $18 million for COVID-19 testing in Alabama nursing homes on Tuesday, saying, quote, some of our largest outbreaks of COVID-19 were within nursing homes, and we must do everything possible to contain the spread within their walls. Here locally, the Mobile County Health Department says cases in long-term care facilities account for 59% of all COVID-19 deaths. Crown Healthcare of Mobile had one of the worst outbreaks in our area, with two dozen patients and three employees dying earlier in the pandemic. The facility does not have any cases currently, but spokesperson Francis Coleman says they're continually testing staff and residents. The virus continues to be out there in the community, continues to be on the move, so we'll need to continue testing for an indefinite amount of time and any kind of money that is there to help us do that is more than welcome. John Matson with the Alabama Nursing Home Association says this money will help alleviate the financial burden that comes with testing for COVID-19. Every time you run a test, there's a charge for that test. And statewide, we employ 31,000 employees in all our nursing homes. So the costs can add up quickly, especially if you're testing people multiple times. Matson says continuous testing is essential to keep everyone safe and get back to some sense of normalcy down the road. The cost of testing we know will have to be ongoing to help us eventually open our doors back up for visitation. According to a release sent out by the governor's office, they hope to have baseline testing of employees and residents in Alabama nursing homes done within the next 30 to 45 days. Reporting live in Mobile, Laura Barcheski, NBC 15 News.